but the rest of it is really good. Um, it it let me track like what my what my career quest is and all that jazz. And once I figured out how to unlock things, which took me a little while, it was not the most obvious setup. Um, it now is tracking like, hold on. Like it, it has a, a map in it with our global achievements and everything and like all of the things that we've unlocked and it checks them off for me and keeps track of pretty much everything. That's cool. Um, it's got party, party stuff, character stuff, scenario stuff, the map. Like do, you can track pretty much everything in it, which of course makes it a little bit harder to use because there's just so many pieces to it that are all moving. Mm -hmm. But I got it set up after last time, and um, we're gonna we're gonna see. We're gonna check it out and see how it goes. But like I said, I'm not going to use it for combat because the combat interface was not fantastic. Okay. That sounds cool. Um, so I started recording mid-sentence, basically mid-sentence. <laughs> but basically, for those of you watching, Melissa got this new iPad app that'll keep track of the campaign for us. So I don't have to hand write it all anymore. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get a drink. I'll be right back. OK. Oh, well, that didn't work. Not very interesting, sorry, while he's getting a drink. Hey Google, that likes to 50%. <laughs> oh, you have one of those smart houses. <laughs> <laughs> did, that, did that make the board not? It's shinier. I don't know how to make it better. I think it's okay. I can see it. Let me make this bigger. I also have my own board, so it's not the end of the world if it's. I know, but I meant for, I guess, who am I kidding? No one actually watches these. <laughs> I think it's okay. You can see what's going on. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So um, we are playing Gloomhaven, this board game. That's Melissa. I'm Mark. We are on episode, I don't know what it is, late teens. Uh, yeah, mid to late teens, I think. We've been playing since February. Um, I forgot to upload the last one, but I'll upload that one and this one as soon as I remember. <laughs> Today's the 18th. Oh, crap. It's my dad's birthday. Um, Happy birthday, Mark's dad. <laughs> I need to call him. Um, <laughs> yeah, should we get started? Sure. Okay. 
So what was going on before? We went into the sewers to, um, after getting water breathing, to mm -hmm. figure out what was corrupting and poisoning the water. We did that. Mm -hmm. What happened after that? So what happened after that was that we got to the room where the like these slimy things were corrupting the water. And for some reason we decided to like wash the back wall of that room. And so we washed the back, back wall and there were all these runes and the quattro person that's been sort of giving us stuff to do. I don't even know if we know this, the quattro's name, but um, translated the runes and said that there's this powerful artifact that is causing the corruption and I guess potentially the gloom too. Not really sure about that. And that we should probably go get the artifact so that we can make the gloom stop or make the corruption stop. So that's, so we're headed to a place called the Temple of the Elements, which Every time we go to a temple, it's it's hard. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> yeah. um, but before that, we should do a city event and then a road event. Yes. And then pick our scenario quest. OK. So road event, or city event. Draw a card. Is this viewable? Number 10. Relaxing for the evening at the Sleeping Lion, a shifty looking man approaches you, hand outstretched. In it are a pair of pale dice with crude marks scratched on them. Greetings, friend. You look like you could stand to liven things up a bit. Care for a quick game of bone dice with me? I'm sure we could make it interesting. His other hand pats a coin purse at his side. Hmm. Do we uh, play a game with a man? It may prove to be a good time. Or refuse the game of dice. I'm always uh, curious what's going to happen. Yeah, I think, that, I think I'm, I'm like curious enough, except for I have like no money. So oh, I don't when know. we inevitably lose. Maybe this is why we would want to play him to try to get money. I guess that's true, but. I feel like we should play him because uh, like somebody comes up to you with a tabletop game at the bar. Sure. <laughs> Although they might be tricky in that, you know, option A, nothing happens. You just have a good time. Option B, as you turn away, blah, 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 blah. Then like the whole novel happens. <laughs> it's totally true. It could go either way. <laughs> well, we'll do option A, I guess. Okay. Rep if our reputation is greater than negative five, which it is, right? <laughs> you get into the game, but after a few rounds, your enthusiasm wanes as the man displays a streak of luck that can only be described as uncanny. You leave the table empty-handed, lose five gold each. We're too nice. We don't know how to dice. <laughs> I guess so. Um, and put it back in the deck. Five gold each. So sad. Now I have 10. OK. Um, as we leave the city, we encounter something on the road. Walking through a stretch of lowlands, you see a man in armor sitting against a large boulder. As you get closer, you see that he is bleeding from his side. Ah, what luck, he says. I got separated from my detail and then had an unfortunate run-in with a bear. I'm afraid I no longer have the strength to stand. He looks at you imploringly. You wouldn't happen to have a potion or something you would be willing to give me. I just need a little extra energy to make it back to Gloomhaven. The choices are help out the guard or claim you have no aid to give him and move on. <laughs> Is this going to make me have to rebuy potions? I hope not. But we are being, we are trying to be good. <laughs> we are trying to be good. Okay. Help out the dude. 
You happily oblige the request, letting the man partake of some of your supplies. He slowly stands up, thanks you, and then heads towards Gloomhaven as you head in the opposite direction. We have to close, consume one item. So I've got, I guess it can be any item. I've got like a stamina potion, a ring. Um, yeah. Um, I've got, I've got more stuff than you because I've got my pocket cloak. I can consume a healing potion. Okay. So I have no healing potion for this round. No. Okay, Temple of Elements, number 22. We still have to do these things, the um, quest things. Mm -hmm. Are we at level two? That's what we have been using is level two. Okay. Because it's, you're level five now, right? Yes. So, that's two and a half, three. Actually, we should be at level three now. Hold on. The average level, which is four and a half, divided by two is 2.25. Rounded up is three. Round up, huh? Last time we almost, we like just barely made it. So I think we should go back. To, we should stay at level two. Until you level up. Yeah, until I level up. And then we can move up. Okay. That makes sense. Um, okay, these guys. Okay, here's two for you. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. I'm doing a mean one. Oh no. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, do you want to read the scenario? Sure. All right, so this is the Temple of the Elements. Our goal is to destroy all of the altars, which are these things. Your road has led you here to the Temple of the Elements in search of an ancient artifact. It appears, oh, can't read today. It apparently holds great power, but anything more than that is very foggy at this point. You enter the decaying stone structure to see for yourself what all the fuss is about. As you step inside, your eye catches signs of recent visitors, a broken twig, footprints in the dust. You approach the main chamber and ready your weapons as a group of hooded figures emerge from the shadows. You're too late, fools. We control this temple now, and all its power serves us. So you can tell it's a bad guy because they call you fools. That <laughs> is like every Disney villain ever calls everybody a fool. But Mr. T is not a bad guy. Oh, that's true. But that's more like foo. Foo. <laughs> <laughs> and it involves pity. Yeah. He pities them, the foo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, where do you want to stand? Wait, let's look at who these guys are. These are cultists. Cultists three and five. They have seven hit points. Yeah. Do you have any special, they don't have shields or anything like that. 
No, and they don't have um, range. Okay. So I I'm gonna stay in the corner, I guess. Wait. Yeah. Okay. I'm. They're both in range for me in the corner, so I'm just gonna like chill in the corner where I normally chill. Back okay. In the corner. By the bones. Stand it in the bones. Okay. I think we can kill one right off the bat. Then the hit points is a bit steep because I don't want to use up my my stuff. Oh, there's also special rules. I guess we. We read them. The special rules are about each altar. We should probably read them in case they like spawn stuff or something. It says each altar has four plus character times level hit points. So characters is two, level is two. So eight hit points. For each altar that isn't destroyed, regardless of whether it has been revealed, the maximum hit point and attack value of all demons is increased by one. And their movement and range values are increased by 0 0.5 rounded up. Me melee sure attack increase in range. Does that mean that like it's right now they all have plus four? Right? For each altar that's not destroyed? Oh, yeah, for the demons, not the cultists. The cultists are just cultists, but yeah. the demons. The demons that we get to later. Start out with plus plus four hit point and attack and plus two movement and range. Hopefully the app deals with that for us, right? I don't know. Because the app knows what scenario we're on, right? Yeah, but there's no way to track how many altars are there? There are. Hold on, let me get out the cards and then that way we'll be able to tell. Okay. Totally rainy. Well, that's good. It'll get rid of some of the smoke. Yeah, absolutely. These are in no particular order, and that makes it very hard to find. There's the wind even. Okay. Now I have the cards so that we can tell when the things spawn whether it's already in there or not. Okay. Ew, these guys are yucky. I don't like any of these guys. There. All right. We're now for reals ready. Oh, I can't believe that's not a discard card. I gotta use my new ability. Oh yeah, what'd you get? What's your new ability? Um, 
It's called Visage. 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 I never know how to pronounce that word. Of the inevitable. I'll oh. I'll uh, reveal it when I actually do it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I've got 12. I have 18. They have 10. Boo. Oh, super boo. Oh, no. Oh, okay. So we I should probably them. not kill them because they have that exploding thing going on. Oh, crap. I've got 14 hit points, by the way, at level 5. That will make life easier since last time I spent the whole time <laughs> healing you. <laughs> yeah. On death, explode. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, they each move one and attack me, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. This guy goes for. He has an attack of zero plus two times. Two times zero, zero. This guy moves up, also attacks me. Zero plus zero is also zero. It is still zero, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Damn it, I can't do what I wanted to do now. Oh, because they're up in your face? Yeah, and also they're going to explode if I do it. Oh. <laughs> Maybe don't do that. <laughs> how yeah. how much it's attack of well so i have i had a card that um basically this new card if i i was going to pull the, him i was hoping to go first right i was going to use my uh pull ability to pull mm -hmm. this guy so that he's next to both of us uh-huh and crucially so that he's away from his friend and then my special ability is if there's an enemy adjacent to me and is not adjacent to any of its allies and it's adjacent to one of my allies so that's you know it would have been right here next to both of us yeah i can just auto kill them that's awesome it's not a throw it's not a discard card i can do this whenever i have this card that's Awesome. That is a great card. Yeah. <laughs> but how, so how much attack, is that an attack three? No, when he explodes, that's what I'm asking. When he explodes. Uh, yeah, attack three. Oh, that's a yeah. pretty big attack. Um, it only works on normal uh, monsters or normal enemies. It doesn't work on elites. Oh. So it isn't as good, but it would have been totally awesome. <laughs> it would have been totally awesome. <laughs> um, but I can't do that. And so instead, want to do that i guess i'm just i'm just going to hit one of them for two just mm -hmm. a normal attack um this guy i guess okay two plus one is three points that guy's down number okay, so i definitely should not kill him since you just didn't kill him so that we didn't get all of that damage mm -hmm. um yeah. And then I can move and poison all adjacent enemies. Well, that's still pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to bother moving, but I will poison both of them. OK. No, wait. I'll move here. And no, wait. Do, is it better to poison them or not? I guess it's better. I'll stay where I am and poison both of them. OK. All right. So is it my turn now? Uh-huh. OK. So I'm going to attack the other guy for two 
and re-poison him. So it's plus one attack. So it's really an attack of three because he's way over there or because um, he's poisoned. And it's <laughs> plus two, so it's an attack of five. Woo-wee. Yeah, but that's like the the most I could do was times two, so it would have been six, so he still would have been alive. Okay. So it was it was a calculated. And then I'm going to move over to the other corner. I don't know that that actually makes any sense. If you move next to one of them, I'll, I'll get bonus damage. Okay, then I move up next to you then. And chances are they'll attack me, not you. That is a true statement. Okay, that's my turn. Okay. We could probably kill both of them now. Hopefully they don't have the explode again. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll do trade this one. I've got four. I have 19. That's 27. Move to attack one. No problem. Okay. Um, I attack this guy who's next to both of us. Okay. Because I get uh, here. This one? I get plus two to the attack, so that's a five mm-hmm. plus zero. Dead. Dead. XP. And then um, I'm going to move one, two, three. You want to read it or do you want me to read it? Um, why don't you read it while Oops. I'm setting up? And twin. Chamber, you find a large central room with many exits. In the center stands another group of cultists preparing incantations around a reddish clay vessel, roughly the size of a skull. The artifact is ours and has made our minions more powerful than ever. You cannot hope to stop when what is coming, even if you strike us down. The gloom will bring forth your end. The cultists <laughs> raise their hands and a barrier surrounds the artifact. Oh man. So special rules. Each altar has hit points, blah, 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 blah. Everything's more powerful. Not everything, just the demons. The cultists are not, they're yeah. like immune to it. I still have two movement. Okay. It's one elite and one regular, right? Yes.
you kill me. Okay. Um, so my other two movement, would you rather I step back or go into the room? You can go into the room. I can handle this guy. He's going to move to an attack. One, two. I don't want to go in the room. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'm don't. Gonna... It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'll just stay where I am. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna. Loot. No, you'll you can get the loot. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna attack this guy for three, and he's still poisoned, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm attacking him for four. He's gonna be deaded. Minus one, but still deaded. Dead. Oh, I should have got the loot because you can't get both loots. No, I can't get both loots. And then there's now nobody there, so I'm just going to move two, one, two, right behind you and grab that loot. OK. OK. These guys move forward, too. One, two, one, two. Oh, I talked to Sam the other day. She said she tried to watch these, and she watched for about 30 seconds before she gave up. <laughs> I was like, yeah, <laughs> that tracks. <laughs> so I think what people, if someone's watching, or I know I know one of the mats uh, just has these Let's Play videos on in the background, you know, as he's, as he's doing other stuff. So I would guess that that would be the way to watch this to make it bearable. I think that's the audience. It's like somebody who is interested in games and wants to like hear other people's campaigns while they're working on other things. Right. And also just yeah. like just like having background noise, you know. Background noise, yeah. Okay. Because I was impressed because he got all the way through one of our camp one of our scenarios, which was like a two hour long scenario. It was one of the epic ones where like you died at the last second and I just exploded everybody in the room. My, yeah. I have, by the way, 20. 20? Yes, 20. Um, and he said, he said that he like sent his kids out of the room because they came in while he was listening to the epic finale. <laughs> and he was like, no, I have to hear this. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're going to summon guys and take two damage. Oh, that guy's dead. I just found dog spit on the underneath of the table. Ew. Yeah, gross. I have big dogs. We have dog spit. It happens. Mm -hmm. They're summoning things? Ugh. Yeah, they're summoning uh, skeletons, but they're also taking damage. I forgot that these guys do that. I am going to move to one, two. And then I'm going to, so that movement, I get plus two to attack. 
Um, targeting enemies adjacent to none of their allies. He's not adjacent to anyone. So plus two. So this is three plus two. Um, which would be five plus zero. So five points to that guy. He's going to die because he's going to summon someone and then explode. Oh, yeah. Unless I kill him before that. Right. <laughs> You're like, oh, so silly that you think you could kill it. <laughs> Support character. <laughs> uh, you can do some damage now. <laughs> I guess to prevent him from summoning a skeleton, that would be worth it. Yeah. Speaking of which, I could summon a salt skeleton. Do you want to summon him now or do you want to wait? Because I feel like we have four rooms to get to. I know, but if I don't wait, this guy's going to come and attack me. Oh, no, he's not. He's just going to summon a skeleton. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can wait. No one's going to attack me. OK. All right, I'm moving up one, two into the doorway. And I am attacking him for one and stunning. So even if I, as long as I don't whiff, he's not summoning his skeleton. OK, so attack of one, minus one, so zero, but he's stunned. So okay. stunned. That was a little bit less exciting than one might have hoped, but. Yeah. All right, so that guy's stunned. The other guy summons a skeleton. And then it's, that skeleton appears right there in my face. Um, and now it's the next round. Hmm. Oh. So that guy, because he didn't summon a skeleton, he also doesn't explode, right? I mean, he also doesn't die. He doesn't lose two hit points. Yeah, I guess not. I forgot about the losing two hit points thing. Oh, that was silly then. Whoops. Should have just let him. I guess so. Then we would have two skeletons. Yeah. No, it was fine because you're preventing him from summoning somebody. Yeah. Wait, how hard are these skeletons? Five and a shield. Okay, um, I've got three. I have 74. Not 17, 74. Yeah. The cultists are going to explode on death. <laughs> no. <laughs> and the skeleton's going to shield and heal itself. OK. I Is there any chance that you can get far enough away from the from them to like not get exploded if I kill them? Yeah, I can move. OK. I don't think I can kill both of them, but I can certainly, my plan was to do some damage. I, I'll, uh, yeah, OK. Hmm.
I will move. Two, I guess. I'm just going to use a regular movement. Uh, two here. Okay. And then um, shoot uh, flurry of blades, which I guess are throwing knives or something, against the skeleton and this guy. Okay. So it's a, a type of two. Don't forget about the shield. He doesn't have shield until it's his turn, I think. No, he has, he has regular shield. He has shield of one. Just oh, right, right, right. Okay. Well, I get a plus one, so they cancel each other out. So that's two points to the skeleton. And then against the guy, I whiffed. He's only got 10 hit points, by the way. The elite, because he summoned the skeleton, so he lost two hit points. Okay. Also, I. Hmm. Should I summon my skeleton now? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I, I can summon it later, so I'll just save my summons. Okay, I'm summoning my skeleton now. Right there. Okay. Okay. Um, now the cultist turn. The elite uh, is not going to move. He's going to attack the skeleton with mm -hmm. an attack of one plus zero. So it's one point on this guy, this little skeleton. Okay. He has three hit points. He has one, uh, two left. Um, and then the other guy is going to move one and attack. So I guess he's going to move. I guess he's going to move and attack, attack you because uh, us two aren't in range. Yeah, I guess so. OK. Do you care which space he goes into? No. There. Back of zero plus one, one point. Okay. Okay, now the skeleton shields up and heals okay. himself for He's two. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now it's your turn. Oh, yeah, and he heals himself. Bleh. He heals himself. All right, so I'm going to go. That was dumb. I'm going to go one, two into the corner. And I'm attacking these two guys for four each. Um, so I guess I'll start with the elite guy. So attack of four, minus one, so attack of three. Three on the elite. Three on the elite. And then attacking the skeleton, and I'm going to use, actually, I used my piercing bow, but that doesn't change anything for the elite, but um, I'll use my piercing bow. And um, so it's attack of four, ignoring shield, times two. So skeleton is dead. Good put. Okay. So it ended up not mattering whether or not they blew up anyway, because they moved too much. Oh, well. Oh, I have to do a short rest. Yeah, so do I. What do I have 
have to do in order to get back the one that I, in order to choose again? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Or choose what again? Like if I don't want to lose the card during the short rest. Oh, it's like two health or something like that. This one. All right, that's a good one. <laughs> Why can't I find it? Here it is. Okay. It is only one. I'm going to take that damage. That one is a way better one to lose. Okay, I have 18. Out of three, then. Okay, 39. We're going to move our attack and heal. Um, attack and heal? Blah. Yeah, I'm going to move one, two, three onto this loot here. And again, an advantage on my attacks this round, and then I'm going to attack him for four, add a wound, um, and I have advantage. Oh, I forgot to shuffle these. It's either times two or plus one. I'll take the times two. So four times two is eight points of damage. He did. He did. Oh, I forgot to have the skeleton go. Oh, yeah. Well, the skeleton would have attacked him. And not, so, I'm not doing anything. Okay. Now it's your yeah. turn. Okay. I'm attacking two and potentially poisoning the other guy. Attack. Uh, he has that one shield, but oh well. Um, so attack two minus one. <laughs> oh, zero attack, but uh, I didn't whiff, so he's poisoned. <laughs> he has a shield. Huh? What do you mean he has a shield? Oh, he's a cultist. Never mind. So attack of one. <laughs> I was I was all caught up in the stupid skeleton guy. So, so he has one left. <laughs> one hit point, and he's poisoned. And then he's gonna heal himself by one. Well, at least he's poisoned. And then I'm gonna move on to this loot. Loot. <laughs> right here? Yeah, the yeah, that one. Oh good. He won't be able to hit you. So he's moving one right here, I guess, and then gonna whiff the air and then heal himself for one. Sad. At least he's poisoned. Yeah. Okay. There's the there's the chest. Do you want to get the chest this time? It 
if I do, it will be poisoned. But sure, I'll get the chest. <laughs> It'd be cool to open a chest every once in a while. <laughs> Okay, I have 36. I have 20. He's got 31. So you go first. Okay, wow, I hardly ever get to go first. All right, so I'm attacking him for three plus one for the poison and plus one again, so he's super dead. Because he's now been hit for five points. He's also immobilized. The corpse is pinned to the ground. And, <laughs> and that's really grim. And then I'm going to move onto the chest. One, two, three. Onto the chest. Do I get to look at what the chest has now or not until the end? We've been doing it as soon as it, the end of the round happens. So go for it. OK. Let me figure out which one it is. And then I, I'm going to move three, one, two, three on this door. And we have an elite, no, a regular frost uh, demon or whatever it is. And an altar. Okay, so now we'll see if the game, if the app knows that this guy's special. Number three. <laughs> you want to know what was in the treasure chest? Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> I suffer five damage. <laughs> I took damage. <laughs> Oh, that's it's terrible. A trap? Huh? It was a trap? It was a trap. <laughs> We've only had two traps so far. You've gotten both of them. I know. Oh, I'm down to five hit points. That's awesome. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, I moved three, opened that door, and now there's a guy there. So I'm going to shoot him now. Hold on, I think I don't think it's giving him his yeah, he's not been upgraded. Okay, so he actually has eleven hit points. Yeah. And and a seven attack. Yeah. And he's gonna move three. Wait, not seven attack. Only it was I thought it was attack and hit points. Yep, you're right. You're right. That's terrible. But and plus two on move, so four move. We need to destroy these fast. Yeah, um, I'm gonna turn myself invisible probably. Um, okay. But anyways, I'm shooting him. I forgot to move a skeleton again. Where would he go? He would go towards the bad guy. But there was no bad guy yet. Oh. Then he would have just stayed, right? I just stayed. <laughs> Useless skeleton. Useless skeleton. <laughs> so lazy. What a slacker. Oh, I got an idea. How much do these altars have? How many points? Eight, right? Eight, yep. I'm going to use the volatile bomb that I got last adventure. Ooh. With a single target ranged attack, which this is, I can turn it into an area of effect. So I'm going to hit both of them uh, with an attack of three. Nice. Oh, shit. I forgot to shuffle. Are 
I told you that the chest was going to have bad things in it if we let me loot it. I think we need to like not even try to kill these guys and just run for the altars and destroy them. It kind of does make sense to do that. Because we don't have to actually kill them. All we have to do is destroy all the altars. Yeah. So on your turn, can you go into that room and try to target the altar? And I'll go for that one or something? Let me see. And we'll do the Benny Hill running around. <laughs> if you don't put that music in so in post-production, I'll be very sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. OK. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to do this bomb thingy and uh, first tag him for three plus one, four points. Mm -hmm. On the demon, one, one, two, three, four. But he had plus four, so I'm just going to add the four back. OK. So now <laughs> his hit points are real. So now he actually has seven. OK. And the altar. Um, I'm going to use the goggles and gain advantage to make sure I actually damage the altar. OK. I think that you would have had advantage for the whole attack action, though, so. Oh, you're right. Well, then I just drew a plus two. So that would have been applied to him instead. Yeah. So he actually has one point damage. Yay. Okay, now the altar plus zero or plus one. So um, four damage to the altar. I have no way of marking that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not useful. Um, do any of these guys have eight, exactly eight hit points? No, they don't. So let's just use the, um, so how many damage did you do? Four. All right, so just make a little pile of battle markers of the. Okay. When high tech people try to play board games. There. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's my turn. Okay. Oh, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna um, discard my cloak to turn invisible. Okay invisible so he moves four he's gonna move two and then get stuck and go and wonder like what the hell's going on because he can't get past me yep <laughs> and he can't attack because right I'm just... you and i'm not in range okay next round Did we decide that I can use the heal, the like heal range three or whatever on myself? I think so, yeah. Wow, how the hell did that happen? I don't actually have like a good attack card right now. No good. I guess I, I need to, my, I'm going to try to go here and attack that, right? That's what I'm just supposed to try to be doing. Mm hmm OK, I think I can do that. Um, So what happens if you destroy that altar? Does he lose those four extra hit points? I think so. Or, or just he loses one of the four extra hit points? OK. So we do, I mean, we probably do still want to kill him because he's sort of in the way. 
I can definitely get that altered this turn, I think, though. OK. We'll see what happens. And he's oh. got retaliative two, but that only is because there's no range on it. He only hits what's next to him. OK. Is that, is that what we decided? Yeah, it's um, melee. Melee only retaliate. Yeah. Um, I've got 16. I have, what did I do? I have 17. He has 58. He's going to move and attack and pierce. That's fine. I don't have shields anyways. <laughs> <laughs> um, OK, I'm going to move three. One, two, three. OK. Go next to the altar and attack it for three. OK. Plus one, four. It's gone. Dead. I don't think it gets a loot, though. Ooh. <laughs> it wasn't like a hollow thing. Hey, there's something hidden here. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool, but... <laughs> um, okay, so he loses a point now. Yeah, he loses a point. He's at five. Okay. Um, and I have a movement. I can move two. <laughs> oh, your skeleton guy has been sitting here instead of moving. He totally would have moved. Move two. One, yeah. two. Wait. One, two, three. One, two, three. Darn it. He's going to come towards me. Um, I can move two. I might as well move towards the door. He's going to come after me anyways. Yeah. OK. Your turn. I am summoning my battle bot. Because I am in dire straits here. I'm going to put it between me and the skeleton. Can't do anything right now, but it's going to sit there. And then I'm going to, should I move into this other doorway and open it? Or is that insane? No, I think you should. And you maybe you want to summon the battle bot into that, into that room. Oh, yeah, good call. All right. I didn't summon the battle bot there. Mulligan. So one, two, into the room. Summon the battle bot. It's a regular yeah. wind guy, right? That is correct. Yes, a wind dude. Oh, he's got a shield. That stinker. And where is he exactly? Eh. Where do you want the battle bot? Um, hold on. I'm trying to figure out where the wind demon is. Actually, I think I want him. I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah. There, I guess. OK. Yeah. Okay, battle bot summoned. I'm gonna have to do a long rest here soon because I'm sad in health and sad in many things. Do you think I can wound the altar? Or are we thinking no, because it's a rock? <laughs> Who knows what you've got up your sleeves, Miss Miss Tinkerer person? <laughs> Maybe you have a flask of acid that'll continuously erode it. Sort of. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's cheating or not, though, because it's technically not alive. <laughs> right, but yeah, you can have some sort of, you know. Like I can understand not being able to poison it. But wound. Who knows? You could have like fast acting rust sort of potion thing that you throw at it. <laughs> <laughs> Quick <laughs> <and> potion. 
I don't know. I feel like that. I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> I feel like it might be cheating. <laughs> oh, I have to, we have to spawn this guy. Uh, this guy's number five. Wind Demon, number five. Oh, he has to go. Right, are you done with your movement, with your turn? I'm done with my turn. Sorry, I forgot that these guys are also things that are going to happen. Wind Demon's going to push all adjacent enemies. No one's adjacent to him. Mm -hmm. and he's going to attack at range three. Oh. Uh, against your battle bot. Yeah. Attack two, range three. He whiffs. He whiffs? Yeah. The other guy is not going to move because he's right next to me. He's going to attack me for two with piercing. And draws a plus one, so three points of damage to me. The damage is high today. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. His, his attack is actually uh, five. So that's six points damage to me. Because it's, oh yeah. There's three altars left. So I'm at eight. I'm at five. So we're not doing so hot on the life right now. And of course I gave that random dude my health potion. Right. <laughs> I should have given him the stun powder. Jeez. Hmm. The skeleton's going to move here. We should move right there. Okay, I've got 12. I have 19. Twenty-one and seventy-eight. So first, I am gonna first. The skeleton is gonna move two, one, two. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna move two. Wait, what's he doing? He's gonna attack. Oh, he's attacking both of us. Bummer. Oh yeah, that is a bummer. But... You know, before I move, I'm just going to attack him for regular attack. Okay. So, what is the regular attack? Oh, two. Attack for two, plus two. Four points. Nice. Ooh, he's only down. He only has one left. Indeed. And if we, well, you'll probably kill him before I manage to get the altar dead. So. I move there. Okay, your turn. Okay. So, my battle bot moves up one, and attacks for two. Um, this guy has shield of two though, so. We'll see how this goes. Plus zero, so he does nothing, but he at least blocks the guy. And then I am healing myself for four because things are getting quite dire. And then I'm gonna move. What's what's this guy's, what is he doing? Range of three. Ugh. And he's pulling. Well, but he's going to attack your battle bot. Uh, he has to move to get. He's probably going to move here. That's true. Unless he can, can he end on the altar? No, I think altars are. They count as. Let's see, it's got a green thing around it. Okay. Means it is 
not on this page. Uh, green is an obstacle, so they can't land okay. on it. He's gonna he's gonna move here and, and shoot your uh, battle bot. Okay. Then I'm actually gonna move like right in front of him because he will move away from me as well. So one, two, so that I can start targeting the altar. Okay. And that is my turn, except for I'm gonna use my stamina potion and get two cards back. This guy. That's a good idea. And this guy. And that is my turn. That's a good idea. Do you mind if I do the same thing? I don't care. We're, we play a little fast and loose with the rules here. Okay. <laughs> we play it like it's actual an actual role-playing game instead of like there, there is a rule set. Yeah. Okay. So the wind demon is going to go one, two, and then shoot your battle bot. And it's going to uh, attack for two. But if it pulls it, oh. Well, pull afterwards. I just moved oh, okay. him. Yeah. So uh, three damage. Awesome. Three points. Okay. He's still okay. Okay, and then he pulled him and uh, generated one of these frost, no, wind uh, icons. Okay. And then this guy's going to move one and attack both of us for three and generate a frost icon. So he'll attack the skeleton first, three minus one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The wind demon actually did um, th plus three more points of damage. Okay, so my battle bot is dead now. Okay, the frost demon just did um, two plus three, five points of damage to the skeleton. Skeleton's dead. Skeleton is also dead. And then against me, he does plus one, so that's four plus three is seven points of damage. I have one. Oh, geez. How do you, you just discard a card to prevent damage, right? Yeah. Wait, you might lose a card. What page was that on? You lose a card. Uh... It is lose a card. It's either lose one card from your hand or two from your discards. Which... If I can get back over to you, I can help get those back, but I have to be able to, I was gonna try to finish things off in here. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, how many cards do I have? I don't think I can lose cards. But I'm only at one house. Actually play this at the next level up. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was a lot. I think I have to discard a card, right? No, but then I have to do a long rest. Yeah, and he's right in your face. So then. I don't have to lose two random cards, right? Or do I get to choose? I think you get to choose. I can't, I can never remember. Okay. 
I'm going to lose two cards instead of losing seven health. Okay. Ooh, okay. I, I'm not sure we're going to survive this one. Um, <laughs> next round. <laughs> okay, this is crazy. I've got 11. I have 18. The shield demon, the wind demon goes first. He shields up for three, moves three, attack one, range three. He doesn't need to move, just attacks you. Okay. Attack one plus three, so attack four. Attack four, great. Minus one, three points. Okay. Now it's my turn. Uh, I apologize in advance. <laughs> I'm moving five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm moving three. Opening this door. Um. Oh, wait, I could run this way instead and help you with this altar. That's probably not a bad plan. OK, we'll do that. So not opening the door. I was right here. I'm going one, two, three, four, five. And then moving one, two, three, right next to him and the altar. Okay. And Attacking the altar for three. Okay. Plus one, two points. How much did you do it to already? I didn't because I was like stuck running away from the wind demon. Okay, so it's at, it's at four now. Okay. If we destroy it, then this guy dies because he only has one hit point. Oh, good. Okay, so is it my turn? Yeah. Okay, I'm moving up one. And then I'm attacking for three and wounding. Um, and it gives a, a fire one. Um, both both the altar and the, and the wind demon, they both get uh, attack three. So I'll start with the altar. Attack three. I'm guessing he, I can't wound it, but it's a flamethrower. So maybe I it catches on fire. It's wooden. Is it wooden? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I do plus one, so four. It's gone. And I also healed myself for two. I forgot. All right, I this guy dies. And does he die? No, that was I was attacking the altar first. Oh, and this guy dies. You're right. Other, other guy. Okay. And then now I'm attacking the wind demon who is now down to six health, I guess. Right. He had like four plus four. Huh. And wounding him. Uh, plus zero. So it's minus three points, which is minus one. But he's also wounded, so he's going to take damage every turn. He has five hit points now. No, he should have. So he had plus four to his four. Two, because two altars are gone, so that's six. Six minus three. Minus three for what? How much damage he did? Yeah. But he has shield three. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, he does have shield three. So never mind, but he's wounded. Okay, so he still he still has six hit points then, but he's wounded. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna need to do a long rest. Oh my gosh, guys, can you not? There's like a full on dog fight happening over here. I'm as well doing a long rest. <laughs> <laughs> I, wait. 
Can we both do a long rest without dying? We have to. I mean, I have to. I have no cards in my hand. Okay, yeah. Then long rest it is. What am I going to get rid of? I guess I'll get rid of the... I'll get rid of this one. Ugh, sad. Oh, but I get two hit points back, right? And so do you. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're doing slightly better, but well, this guy's gonna whack us. We don't actually rest until he moves. That's true. So we, we don't yet have the two. If he kills one of us before we get those two hit points, then he kills one of us. Bad face. Okay. Um, I'm discarding this guy. No, I can't discard that one. I'm discarding. Wow, all these are so good. Oh, I should have stunned him and wounded him. I have stun powder. I could have done both. Mm. But we still have two more rooms to do, so maybe I need to save that stun powder for when we get to another big bad. Um, he's going to move and attack. Target both of us. <laughs> At least he has to move away. Two, three. I guess right there. Attack both of us with an attack of three um, against me. He draws a plus zero, so that's three points. I have six now. Against you, he draws plus zero, so three points. Down to five again. Okay. And now, and now we get points back. Yay. Oh, and he took a, he should have taken a point of damage because he's wounded. Right. So now he has five. Yes. Okay. Now he's in our way. <laughs> oh, long rest. I get my stuff back. Mm-hmm. I still have my skeleton in reserve too, so I should really like rearrange these so I can see what I have. We still have two rooms to go. Mm -hmm. And they're probably like the tough gut the tough ones. And Earth. This is a hard one. This is a hard one. I, I'm done. I have 11. I have 17. Oops. Okay. That's 43. He's going to push all adjacent enemies, attack two, range three, whatever. Um, I'm going to move three. One, two, three. Into the doorway. Okay. Attack for three. Three plus zero. So attack him for three. Uh, so he had five. Now he has two. No, because he has two shield, remember? Oh, right. So attack him for one. So now he's at four. So that's correct. And then I'm going to um, move five. One, two, three, four, five. Wait. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, should I be next to a door or grab loot? <laughs> Up to you. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this loot here. Okay. Um, I'm going to attack him for three, uh, at a range of three, and I'm going to use my stun powder, so he will also be stunned, hopefully. All right, so attack of three, range of three. Should I use advantage two, or should I save that? I'm going to save that. Range of three, and I whiffed. So that was like a gigantic waste of time. And then I'm going to, what's his range? Three. Oh, but the range goes up, right? Wasn't he stunned? No. He does, he's not stunned because you whiffed? Yeah, he's not stunned because I whiffed. His range is increased by one. So range four? Yeah, I can't get out of range. You might as well run right next to him, make him, force him to move back at least. Yeah, that's a good call. All right, so I'm going to do one, two, and then heal myself for one as part of that move. That was a terrible turn. But he's going to take he's going to take some damage from his wounding, so. Okay, so his Actually, turn... Actually, he's going to push me, except he can't push me. I think he pushes that... you here. Where does he push me? There? Yeah, I think so, to the corner. And then attacks you. Great. So attack of four plus two, six. <laughs> oh, man. Yowcha. <laughs> that stinks. Wow, these guys are hard. Um, yeah. Okay, I know what I'm doing next. I've got... Oh, I got a shuffle. Okay. I've got 12. Eighteen. Say again? 18. Okay, you're choosing that one a lot. He's got 21. He's going to move, attack, and push. Push or pull? Push. Oh, pull. Sorry. <laughs> He's going to pull. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna move three to this one, I guess. Okay. Which is the Earth Demon. And the Earth Demon is like there. The Earth Demon has 12. Actually, he's got 14. Yeah, but he's yeah. super slow and doesn't have ranged. So as long as you just like dance around. I can try. Except his move right now is three, right? Oh. He gets plus one to his movement right now. Yes. The attack oh, spot. So movement is oh yeah, never mind. Ooh, I'm within range. He's gonna he's gonna come up to me and wallop me. Luckily I'm turning invisible. Yay. 
So he's gonna walk up to you and crash into you, not understand what is going on. Mm -hmm. uh, this is bad. I don't know if we can do this. Um, your turn. Maybe I can pull an epic one out. Maybe. Okay. First, I am attacking the wind guy for five with a range of two. Let me get my experience points. Attack of five. I whiffed. I just, I just don't even, okay. And then I'm healing myself for three. You whiffed, did you, don't you have goggles or anything like that? Oh, we do have goggles. Okay, I get advantage. Times two, he's super dead. <laughs> I was trying to save the goggles, but it makes way more sense to just say that I was using my goggles. So he's dead. Oh my gosh, phew. I'm still healing myself for three though, because I was down to two hit points. And that's my turn. I am running out of cards. Things are getting dire. Uh-huh, me too. Um, so that guy's dead. This guy moves three up to the doorway and then doesn't do anything because he doesn't see me. Yep. Next round. I've got 11. I have 48. Do you want me to go over here and open this other room? Yeah. Or do you want me to? Okay. Here's we hoping the last demon is not there. The altars. Mm -hmm. We can dodge this earth guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's quite slow as long as we use our movement points well. He's only going to move two. Okay. Um, I'm going to move five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to attack the altar. Um, I get plus two to the attack because I'm invisible. <laughs> I'm backstabbing the altar. <laughs> I still think I should have been able to wound the altar. <laughs> I don't know if it makes sense. But whatever, add plus two to the attack if invisible. Um, okay, so f uh, I think if I'm reading that right, I could be reading it wrong. Anyways, six points. That's good. Now it's down to just two. Yeah. I have to do a short rest now. Um, it's your turn. Okay, I'm healing myself for four in an attempt to not die in the last room. And I'm using, <coughs> oh, I'm choking to death on my healing potion. And then I am going to use my boots of striding and move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could be on the loot. Yeah, but I don't have good movement. So if I go out for that loot, there's no guarantees I'm going to, I guess eventually I would, but. It's just one yeah. space. I don't know. Whatever. Up to you. One, two. One, two, three. Six. 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 All right. I take the loot. You convinced me. And that is my turn. I mean, unless, I to take you, you, unless you can't move three. Because you can always move two with any card. Uh, depends on what comes out of my short rest. Yeah, it depends on what comes out of my short rest. Okay. It'll be okay. Um, he moves two. One, two. And then that's it. No, what do you... 
I think that's actually where you have him. Never mind. Okay, I have to do a short rest. Me too. This is my last turn. Crap. I have two. These are my last two cards. Okay. I will do my best to finish off the entire thing. <laughs> ah! I believe in you. This altar is going to die. You just have to open a door and do a bunch of damage to an altar. Without taking a bunch of damage from the demon. Yeah. You still have a skeleton. I do still have a skeleton. Okay. I have 17. Okay. He's not going to move. But he has range this time. Range four or range five, I guess. But he won't be able to get to you. He won't be able to get to me, no. It doesn't matter because me, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be exhausted anyways. That's true. I'm attacking the altar for four. Okay. Plus one, five. This altar is gone. Gone. The earth demon now has thirteen hit points. Yes. Hooray. And then I've got I still have this. I can Move next to him and poison him. <laughs> okay. But he's poisoned. And now I'm exhausted. Okay. I guess we'll see how this goes. So I'm going to heal myself for three. I want to go into this with full health. And then I'm moving into the doorway. One, two, three. And where is this guy? Flame demon guy is next to the altar. What am I doing? Flame demon guy. Uh, what number are you? Six. Nope. Six. Okay. And I'm gonna move. You can do it. <laughs> what is what is Flame Demon Guy doing, though? I need you to pull cards for me. Oh, yeah. He's going to attack at range, area of effect. Attack three, or attack four. And, and range four. Oh, jeez. He doesn't, but there's not fire, so he won't do area of effect. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. That doesn't, right. I guess it doesn't matter because you could summon your skeleton. Yeah, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna take one step further in for my last and then summon my skeleton between me and him. And that's my turn. Sufficiently epic. Now it'll probably take you two or three turns to destroy the altar, huh? Uh we'll see. Unless you can do like crazy damage. Which we'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a short rest after this next turn, so we'll see. All right, the flame demon is shooting uh, your skeleton. Attack of three, actually attack of four, minus two, two points. He still has one point. He's still alive. <laughs> and the earth demon whiffs nothing, attacks nothing. Yeah, because you're... <laughs> For some reason, he doesn't just stomp on you on the floor. He's just looking at me going, what the hell happened? <laughs> <laughs> OK. I... The scoundrel. If only there was a way to add one more card to my hand limit. Is that an enhancement you can do, maybe? I don't know. I, can't, I haven't seen it, but that would be awesome. Okay, I have 19. How do I mark myself as dead? Oh, I know. 
There we go. Oh no! He's going to move to and create a four damage trap in an adjacent empty hex closest to an enemy. Okay, so. So he's going to move, I guess. I guess, what? Is he not going to move because he's just going to create a trap next to the skeleton? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so he creates a, a trap next to the skeleton. I guess we can put it wherever we want, right here, away from you. Sure. I'm just going to throw that there. That was pretty awesome. Like, that does nothing. <laughs> now it's your turn. OK. Um, so I'm going to move one, two. Yeah, one. Like that, so that I'm like uh, parallel to him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to attack three, range three, area of effect, and immobilize. So um, I guess I'll start with the flame demon. Your skeleton also gets to move and attack. Oh, right. I already forgot about skeleton. So he's going to move one up because he doesn't have range, and he's going to attack the flame demon for two. Actually, can he move to? He wouldn't attack the thing, though. The altar? Yeah, because it's not like an enemy. Unless you can direct them. I can't. He's just a skeleton. Minus one, and that guy has shield, so he didn't do anything to him, but he's still sitting there anyway. Okay. Okay, so now I'm attacking three, range three. I'll start with the flame guy and immobilize. So plus one. So that's attack of four, but he's got three shields, so it's only attack of one. Okay. And he's immobilized, and the Ana has three hit points. Yes. Well, I guess he has four hit points. No. He had four because of the altar. Now he has three. Now he has three. You're right. Okay. And then the altar gets immobilized and also gets plus one, so four damage on the altar. Okay. This is looking pretty promising actually. Assuming I can survive until the end of the next turn and don't do anything horrible in the meantime, I have to take a short rest. The Earth Demon, um, is it round up or round down, the bonus? Round up. Okay, he moves one space. <laughs> next round. Uh, okay, I'm taking the one damage so that I can pick something else. Okay, that's fine. All right, next round. And do this. Oh, this is gone. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. I just had a crazy idea. I don't know if we want to do this, but you know how we've been complaining that we don't have a tank or something? Mm -hmm. What if each of us control two characters? Hmm. That could be interesting. And it's doable because they have initiative order. So we just follow whatever initiative order they have. I think the only thing would just be knowing exactly what two of the characters are doing. So it would be a little bit of an advantage. Well, then we can just bump up the difficulty by one or something. Yeah, I guess that's true. I think that's what you do when you play solo. Do you, pl do you control more than one character when you play solo? Yeah, you do. I think so. So then it's just like two of us playing solo together. <laughs> that sounded That's really dumb, but I get it. <laughs> Isn't that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, now of course I can't find the how to play solo bit. There, it's yellow. By controlling two or more characters at once. So yeah, so you increase increase everything every the monster level and trap damage by one this is not the recommended way to play the game mm. it's okay it's anyway. just... we'll think about it because that could help although 
It would also unlock more of the game for us because we have, really haven't seen other characters yet, you know? That's true. One of us could play one of the new characters. One of the, I mean, that one new character, you know? That is and true. The person can play the uh, tanky guy or whatever. That, that one is sort of tanky, but sort of just a healer too. So then, I don't know, then I could probably, I would probably want to rearrange my deck to be less heal and more attack. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I have 48. 48? Yeah, well, I, I'm down to like my last three cards. Hey, you go first. <laughs> Sweet, okay. I am attacking the altar for six. Oh yeah, hopefully you don't miss. No whiff, no whiff, no whiff, plus zero, the altar is destroyed. Yay, but you have to survive this round. <laughs> but now I just have to, I have to survive till the end of the turn. So yeah. now I am moving. You're safe, it's only gonna attack adjacent. All adjacent enemies, okay, I'm good, I'm safe. Woo. We finished. We just so I mean, you say that you don't do anything and you're just a, just a support character, but I would say you are an A-plus support character. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do keep having, like, I, I think when I first started out playing the character, I was, like, saving the good cards for too long. I was like, oh, there might be something really bad coming up. And now I'm, like, more judiciously spreading out the good cards. So, um, yeah, it's, of course, I'll probably, like, have to retire after that, you know, like uh, it'll get, I'll meet my retirement condition now that I kind of know how to play my character. Okay, so I do, I was deliberately making it harder for us because of my card. <laughs> oh, what was your card? Have one or more monsters present on the map every round. Oh, well, good job on that. I did not make mine and I'm really sad because if I had chosen the other one, so the other one was only have three cards left in your hand and discard pile, which is exactly how many cards I have, but that never happens to me. So I was like, oh no. So instead I tried to get 13 experience points. I got 12. Aww. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so, oh well. A bonus one. Oh, oh, yeah. I was <laughs> like, maybe if I, but I couldn't have cast this spell. If I had cast one more spell, I would have got it. Add. But we survived. We Perfect. did it. Twelve. I only got four experience points that time. Oh, we can read the end. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll do it. I guess. Okay. With the altars smashed, the demons vanish, and the protective barrier around the artifact finally dissipates. You approach the center of the temple and reach out for the vessel, but stop short. You feel powerful darkness emanating from the thing, and behind that, a deep sadness. The artifact has been corrupted and it seems to almost be cognizant of that fact. All of these feelings flash through, through your mind as a warning. It could be used for great evil, but would you fight for that evil or against it? After some effort, you use a thick cloth to get the vessel into your bag. Perhaps it would be best to bring it to an enchanter rather than mess with it yourself, which means we're going to have to go talk to Hale again. Stinky Hale. 31, 35, or 36. Wow. Yeah, a bunch of stuff. Ooh, we get a global achievement. Artifact recovered. Recovered. So 14 would be the Frozen Hollow. Mm -hmm. we, we tried to do this one earlier. Yeah, we did. And then 31, 35, and 36. Well, 35 is joining the evil side, which we wouldn't do. I don't think we should join the evil side, but you know, that might just be me. The, do we have the power of enhancement already? We do, yes. We would try to destroy the rock column. 
So we would bring it to hail. That would be 31. 36 would be trying to use it for good. Um, I don't think do we have we done uh, demons errand. I don't think so. Have we done the rift neutralized? We've done the rift, right? I don't know if we've neutralized the rift, though. Okay, so we can't do 36. A demon's errand complete and the rift neutralized incomplete. I don't oh. know what a demon's errand is. Wait, is that what we did? We just get that or no? No, we got um, we got uh, artifact recovered. So I think we have to help Hale and then eventually encounter this demon thingy. Yeah. So that means we're going to be doing 31 next. OK. Um, all right, so XP. Uh, how much XP do we get? We get eight. I think I just made a level. All right. That's exciting. Indeed. Let me double check, but I think so. Yep, I needed 210, and I'm up above 210 now. Woo! That means I get to do a whole bunch of leveling up stuff that I'm not going to do right now because it's super boring to watch. <laughs> Gold is worth how much again? Uh, the gold is worth three now because we're up a level. So we need to go see Hale, I guess. Yep. Which I'm sure won't be hard or anything. Yep. What time is it? Four o'clock. Excellent. Sweet. <coughs> Oh, I have to look up. I, I level up so rarely, I have to look up how to do it every time. <laughs> you get a perk. You oh, get yeah. a card. You know, one of your cards. Mm -hmm. And then, depending on what your perk is, you might change out some of these cards, the attack cards. Oh, yeah. And then, I think that's basically it. I think I've gotten rid of all the really bad cards out of my attack deck. Except for the whiff, and they won't let you take out none of the none of the check marks, none of the perks give you a um Yeah, you always have to have the whiff. Which makes me sad. Mm -hmm. But I don't know about you, but I was able to remove the negatives. Yeah, um, I need to, I think what I'm going to do actually right now is remove the two, neg two of the negative one cards. Yeah, I only have zeros and positives now, and then and, I have a whiff. And the whiff, yeah. There are two times. Yeah, okay. I, I still Stop have, two. okay, two negative ones I still have, sorry. We did it! Yay! <laughs>